Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. I'm Jay, and here is Maria. And she's from Norway. Ah, Norway. <laughs> Yeah, she's from Norway. The reason that I met her today is I want to talk about why Koreans are not good at English. In European, they can speak English so fluently. So I was curious why Korean people can't speak English. That's why I invite her and asked about their education system and how does she think about that. So here we go. Can you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Maria from Norway. I live in Korea now. I've been studying here for about a year. So why did you come to Korea? Um, first. I like K-pop. Like oh, that's yeah. how I was introduced to Korea, and mm -hmm. uh, through TV shows, oh. I was introduced more to the uh, cultural aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And then I got interested in learning the language because I thought it sounded very pretty. Oh. So I came here mainly to study Korean, and then I stayed because I really liked it. Oh, that's cool. Which group did you did you like? Vix. Vix. Yeah. Oh, isn't that? Yeah. Vix is one of the top ones, right? Why? They're Usually really good. They're like BTS, Listen EXO. Listen to them. They're really good. Yeah, Vix. I I like Vix too. Actually, I wanted to ask that in Korea we study English for a long time, over ten years, but Koreans are not. Really good at English. Why do you think that? I think that the problem lies in the education uh, because it's very focused on the uh, test. Ah, so no, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you're not really doing a speaking test as well, uh -huh. and the English language is very different from Korean, mm -hmm. and I think that's also a contributing factor. Like that, it's so mm -hmm. different than that. The teachers kind of fail in that aspect of being able to teach Korean students English. Also comes on to the general public because mm -hmm. in Norway we have a lot of of American TV, and I don't really notice that in Korea. Mm -hmm. And even if there is uh, like American TV in Korea, it's mm -hmm. always subtitled, mm -hmm. and right, nobody cares to like try to just listen. Mm -hmm. Also, games games are also easily translated into Korean. Yeah, right. But in Norway, we're just like you're kind of supposed to know English, so mm -hmm. especially like more adult games. Like shooting games and stuff like that yeah. are more. They kind of think that you half should know English, mm. so there's no real reason to translate it. Uh, yeah, I, I think. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Living with just Koreans, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there are not many opportunity to speak with foreigners. Especially that Korean people have the opportunity. I think that it also comes to pride, mm -mm. because a lot of Koreans I've talked to in Korean, and then they speak to me in English suddenly, mm -hmm. and they're really good, mm -hmm. but right, right. they're. Just being like, oh, I was so afraid to make mistake, but it doesn't really matter because I totally mm -hmm. understand what you mm -hmm. want to tell me, even though you're doing mm -hmm. yeah. making mistakes, and that's what I'm trying to do in Korean too. It doesn't matter that I speak perfectly as long as mm -hmm. we can understand each other, because I feel that's like the meaning uh, with language. But I feel that's kind of lost with the Korean people. Mm, yeah, well, right. They are too shy, have yeah. no confidence to yeah. speak English. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Game. <laughs> Korean people should think how they feel when foreigners speak Korean to them, mm -hmm. because even though us foreigners make mistakes, mm -hmm. you're just like wow, hang what time is? It's really like that. Yeah, if, you right, right. if you only say hello, it's like yeah. wow, they speak English. <laughs> like thank you. How about Norway? How they learn English? We study very vocal based. I think oh. uh, we always have like a participation grade in class. I'm not exactly sure how it is now, oh. but I would always go to like the teacher parent conference, mm -hmm. and the teacher would be like, oh, Maria didn't. Speak Speak a lot in this class, and like she has to speak more in this class. Mm. So I would try harder to speak in those classes, mm. and also I started to think that this is a learning opportunity. Like mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to be in a classroom to be perfect, mm -hmm. so I just have to try to say what I want, mm. and the teacher will correct me and help me along the way. Mm. That's what they're there for. So I think that the Korean English teaching system should be more focused on speech, yeah. speaking with each other in English as well. Like don't have to speak with people who are really good in English to mm. be able to learn from somebody else. Oh, I want to ask suddenly, you studied in Yihua University for yes. two years, so what do you think in Norwegian education and Korean education, there is difference? Yes. Uh, the biggest difference is that I feel in Norway you're kind of trying to learn a skill uh -huh. uh, that you can apply in different ways, but in Korea it's more focused on being able to like write on a test or mm. memorize how you're supposed to do something like yeah. you have to do it in a special sequence mm. and also it's a little bit more focused on doing what the teacher wants you to do not really what you know 
Mm. It's very like a mind game kind of with the teacher to know mm-hmm. which part of the book she will choose to do the test on. I feel the same in university. Yeah, but in Norway it's kind of easy. A lot of the times the thing is also here you're not allowed to argue with your teacher. Mm-hmm. In Norway you can. Mm-hmm. And I really like arguing. <laughs> I was always taught to ask why. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, mm-hmm. but when I ask why here Like even in my English class, Mm -hmm. um, but I had a Korean teacher, but she said some things and I asked, oh, why is it like that? Because I want to learn, Mm -mm. but she was just like, how it is, but I don't understand why. So it's harder for me to get it in my brain. Mm. She was just like, you just have to memorize it. Uh, That's a little bit of the difference. Like if you really need to know why in Norway, the teacher will try to find a way to make you understand why and how things mm. are happening in mm. that way. Mm. I agree with it because in Korea, we are not used to question, like give question, answer question. Yeah. We are not used to like yeah. when professor asks that, do you have question? That means... Can we end the class? <laughs> yeah, it's the end of the class. Yeah. Really, it's the end of the class. <laughs> the atmosphere, Korean class asking something is so weird. Kind of showing that you don't know. That's shame. Yeah, it's kind of sh- shameful yeah. to show that you don't understand what the teacher is talking about. So. Yeah. The teacher is like, okay, we will end class now, like, it's done. And then all the students will line up. Mm -hmm. And in Norway, that would be like, but class is over, the teacher is supposed to leave. Mm -hmm. The next teacher is supposed to come in, like, there's a different class in here. In every class I've taken, there's just Mm -hmm. like a line waiting to ask the teacher questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the atmosphere should be changed, like, yeah, more arguing and asking. That's so much important, but in Korea, just test, memorize, test, memorize, test, so. Yeah, my teachers in Mm -hmm. Norway said, like, almost every teacher came into class and they were like no question is a dumb question Uh, and if somebody else makes you feel dumb that's their problem like wow. they have a problem with the, themselves oh, that they yeah. are too scared to ask or something like wow, that and I feel a little bit like in Korea since there is that um, relationship uh, between the students to like compete against each other mm-hmm. you're kind of like frenemies mm-hmm. people don't want to share their knowledge unless uh, it's with like their really close friend so they also don't want to ask in class because true. then everybody else will know it, a better way to yeah. do the study as well so they would rather like keep that a secret Every Everyone in the classroom is the competition. Yeah. Because in Korea, we give the grade like only 5% yeah. A, like 10% B. So we are so competitive. We should win the other friends. Yeah. So, Anjo. <laughs> <laughs> what I think is important is that the parents should support their children no matter what kind of. I uh. feel like here also the push from parents and also, especially in my situation, I had a lot of support from my parents. Like They would always say that, Maria, you just do the best that you can mm. and that's good enough. If uh. you can't get into Harvard, you know, it doesn't uh. matter. You just have to do as good as you can do and that's good enough for you, me and everybody. Uh, that's so different because in Korea, you should be a doctor, lawyer. Yeah. They make students too much pressure. So. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. That's really important. Just whatever they choose, believe their children and support. That. That's really important thing. And I think that if that's what your passion is and that's really what you want to do, like you should go for it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's important to think about your future, but mm-hmm. you can't do something you 100% would never want to do. Mm-hmm. But I mean, with a music background, like you can be a music teacher. Mm-hmm. You kind of just have to find different ways to look at yeah, what you want to do. Yeah. yeah, that's important. Just do what you want is so important. If you choose thing you don't want, but your parents want, yeah, you'll be yes. miserable. Yeah, miserable life. If you can, you can be successful, but that doesn't make you happiness. Yes. Yeah. What do you think? How do people study happily? Uh, I think that there should be a good balance between uh-huh. kind of your work or student life, uh-huh. but also like an actual life because uh-huh. many people here kind of throw away their friends and everything like that uh-huh. two weeks before midterms or uh-huh. exams uh-huh. because like since you have to compete against everybody, but uh-huh. it's really easy to burn out or uh-huh. feel kind of hopeless and very tired because you're always just studying. You're not really doing more things that you enjoy, you know, continue your workout or uh-huh. eating something that you like eating, like uh-huh. stuff like that should also be a priority in your life. Like don't exercise your mind so much that your heart is not exercised. Mm, yeah, that's that's really good answer. Yeah, we just we, we live for being happy, not just for studying or su- success. Yes. The more important thing is being happy yourself. Yeah. So, and it was really good answer. Yeah, I think there are so many problems in education, but 
Even though there is a problem in education, you should find the way by yourself. Be yourself and love yourself. That's really important. So I want to say that. Today I'm done. I will come back with another content later. Thank you. Have a day. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome.